Brett Benetti here with you again. I'm having a great time here at Supernova, the Perth Convention and Exhibition Centre. One of the very special guests join me now, Eliza Taylor. Thank you very much for your time. No worries. You mentioned just before that you've been to Perth about 10 years ago. Yeah. First visit back, you've been having a great time here? Yeah, it's been awesome. Like all the people here are amazing and like really chill. Like there's not been any, uh, you know, any weirdness or <laughs> it's been good. It's, been, it's great to see one of our own doing so well over, over oh, overseas as well we're a big fan yeah. of the 100 uh, I've even got my producer here that we uh, we watch it together and, uh, oh, cool. and talk about it so I'm gonna ask you some uh, some tough questions uh -oh. uh, some fun questions all right but uh, but obviously you, you were successful on neighbors and then you went over uh, overseas and it was your choice to leave neighbors it was we having second thoughts thinking well maybe I shouldn't have left in the end, it was the right choice. But, oh, uh, definitely. I mean, I remember um, Stefan Dennis, who plays Paul Robinson, I believe, um, on the show. He was like, "Don't go. You're not. You know, like stay here where it's safe and like you've got a steady job." And I was like, "I've just got to see what's out there." Um, but uh, there was a big gap between, you know, I think I left when I was 18 and then I didn't get um, the 100 until I was like 22, 23. So there was a huge gap where I was like, oh my God, what have I done? Um, but then it all came together. It all changed for you in 2013. It was basically something you weren't looking for. You read for another film and yes. then, then your producers yeah. discovered you and then come and read for the 100 is something you weren't looking for. So. And you had a credit card stolen, so you're almost I on did. your way home You've going back to research. neighbors. I've done research, yeah. I know um, all about you, but you're almost on your way home coming back to neighbors, and I then was. the 100 came along. Yeah, I was packing my bags. I was like, I, you know, the bank told me that I wouldn't get my card replaced for 80 days, and I was like, I'm overseas. <laughs> what am I going to do? Um, so I was, I was literally packing my suitcase, and then uh, I got this call, and they were like, they've seen a couple of your tapes, and they want you for the lead of this show. Read the script and. I did, and I loved it. And then I was on a plane to Vancouver to shoot. Like, and the, the rest next is day. history. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I said we love you. We love you playing as, as Clark. One thing that I like to do after, because I've been watching every season, and one thing I like to do is at the end of the season, write, look up on the internet. Is it going to be renewed? We don't want it to be yes. cancelled. It's been a couple of times, especially after season three and four. It was written that the next season was going to be the last. Yeah. But it, it keeps on going. It just keeps going. You must, yeah. be lo must be loving that as well. I really am. Like, I was so not ready to be done, especially after shooting season five, which I feel like has been one of our strongest seasons. Yeah. Um, and then to get picked up after just two episodes of airing for season six, I was like, oh, thank God. You know? <laughs> we're up to about season four or five in Australia at oh, the moment. Okay. So, yeah, we're, we're loving that. Yeah. The story about your gun strap as well. I've heard that, uh, that there, were, there was names written on your gun, gun strap and you didn't okay. actually notice that. I, yeah, I think this is a rumour. <laughs> I really still don't believe it, but apparently, yeah, they're like all the people that have, that have passed away are, are written on the gun strap. I really do need to look at that because yes. I'm well, not I've seen sure. a picture of it. My producer and I saw a picture of it, so we'll have to show you afterwards. So. Yeah, for sure. Does the producers, the, the, the Australian sort of feel of it, because a number of Australians that have actually appeared in the show, yeah. again, it's great that you're the lead as well, but yeah. uh, there's some sort of link that uh, a lot of them have appeared in either Home and Away, mainly Neighbours, but yeah. uh, they must have a love for Australians, which we're I, thankful for. I guess they do. I don't know. Um, I think, you know, there, there is like a really um, great camaraderie with like, you know, Australians and US producers, I think, because we do have such great work ethic and, um, you know, we're Aussie, we work hard. Um, so I think that's, you know, something to do with why a lot of us are getting cast over there. And in our show. <laughs> Don't blame me for this question. This is my producer's uh -oh. fault. She wants to know if Clark and Bellamy will get any close to becoming for Lark, <laughs> for Lark this season. <laughs> Look, I'm not a shipper. I can't ship anything. Um, but I, yeah, I guess you never know. <laughs> That's all. I'm not spoiling anything. I'm not sure whether you've been asked this before, but uh, but when we first typed your name into the Google search engine. It, it came up basically in auto searches. Are you related to Reese Witherspoon? Did you ever get that no. before? No. That came up for us really? basically at work. That's like, is is uh, Eliza Taylor? Uh, wow, to, oh, that's uh, a compliment. Reese Witherspoon. So oh. there's the first one. So uh, yeah, I've never heard that before. I know. <laughs> Well, Eliza, again, thank you so much for your time in Perth. Uh, it's great to have you here. We look forward to, to seeing more action in the 100 uh, available on Foxtel. But uh, again, there's a lot of fans waiting to see you. So we'll let you go and, right. uh, and can't wait to, to see more of you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cheers.